Hey everyone, it's Samantha and I'm here today to talk about how to set up your hairstyling tray to service your extension client. Having your tray set up and prepped ready to go is a big deal. It's going to save you so much time. You're going to be very efficient. You're going to look professional and you'll be very organized. So I'm going to share with you some of my tips and tricks for how I do this. Uh, first things first, I always look at my schedule and I figure out how many clients I'm servicing that day, how many rows each client has, and what color string I'm going to need for them. So I will prep all my needles and my string for all of my clients that day. I have a little magnet that is stuck to one of my cabinets. So I will pin all my needles against the cabinet and all my string is prepped ready to go. This is going to save you so much time um, from having to like rush and trying to like string your needle and then glue the string and wait for it to dry. It's a whole process. So go in early, prep for the day or at the end of your day, prep all your needles for the next day. It's going to save you so much time. On top of it, I have my styling tray. I actually have little setting prongs or you could just get thicker clips. I would recommend labeling these clips. So why I label my clips is because I like to label my webs. I like to label my top row, my bottom row, my right top corner, my left top corner, my right top, or sorry, my right bottom corner and my left bottom corner. And I label them and I keep the wefts labeled when I cut them apart because you want to make sure when you are laying your wefts properly back on to your client that everything goes exactly where it was prior. When you first install new hair on a client, you're custom cutting those wefts. So you are cutting face framing layers, so your front corners, the layering is going to be a lot shorter than the wefts that are in your back. So if you start flipping wefts, you're going to move up, you're going to move around the face framing that you create, you're going to move around the heaviness or the weight that you're cutting out. So you want to make sure everything is labeled properly. Um, it will only save you time and make things more efficient, especially if you have an assistant helping you. It makes things very clear for her for what you need when you are like laying hair or when she goes to dry wefts, if she has a bunch of wefts, it's gonna be harder for her to figure out which ones to dry first for you. So if everything is already labeled, you know, okay, I'm gonna need my back row and I like to start my left. So start blow dry my back row and my left corner so everything is prepped and ready to go. And while I'm doing my stitch work, you can blow dry the top row. So having everything labeled will make things more efficient with your timing. So I wanted to review with you this quick video I have of my setup of my styling tray for when a new client comes in. So I have my wet brush to help brush out my client's hair. I have my bead open prongs that are labeled for right top, left top, right bottom, left bottom. I have my YS part comb. So I use the comb to help remove any buildup on the client's hair. So when the beads are taken out, over a six to eight week period of time, they will have some residue in their hair. So I use the comb the fine tooth comb to help kind of brush through because sometimes the wet brush, the prongs are too big. So it's harder to brush through the tiny little bead up, like build up from the beads. So that's what I use a fine tooth comb for. And I have a little tiny pair of scissors because sometimes the wefts, if they're not sliding out like all the way, usually if a client comes in with like wet hair and you're trying to remove the wefts, it's so much harder to remove the wefts on damp hair than it is on dry hair especially with the method that I do. So if that's the case, if a client comes in with damp hair, I usually just have to cut the string on the top and then separate the beads and that'll allow for an easier slip out. Whereas if the client's hair is dry, usually I could just open my beads and then I could remove the, all the wefts at the same time. And then I also love my YS Park clips. So I use those just to help uh, tie up the client's hair, get everything out of the way that I need. So I hope this has helped you. So a big takeaway for today is to label clips for weft removal. It's going to speed up your process, help everything, be so much more efficient, prep your strings, get everything ready to go. 
If you have any questions for your tray setup for Extension clients, let me know. Drop them below. I'd be happy to help. Thanks again for checking in.